Hello. Well, tonight it's just going to be you and me and uh, my hands and a whole bunch of trees. So I'm just going to put a bunch of these trees together and uh, get uh, um, that excursion train and uh, coal mine scene up and running a little bit faster. And uh, using a whole bunch of uh, Woodland Scenics armatures. Uh, I'm not going to use the bases at all. They're not worth it. Garbage. Don't need them. Um, and I'm using some this finely foliage from uh, Woodland Scenics. I've got the uh, olive green and uh, dark green and medium green. So that's uh, part of some of my ingredients, and I'm using this uh, hobby hobby tack adhesive. And you just uh, smear it on the armatures and it dries tacky so I can uh, easily just kind of attach foliage to it and uh, call it good and it seems to hold there pretty good and I've got a little uh, little wire snips I'm gonna take a couple of these armatures and just cut out the center trunk and make one of those kind of sort of like split trunk trees you see around occasionally add a little bit something different plus I got some of this uh, foliage, knock foliage. I think I might, uh, might use, add some of that on a couple of them, see how that looks. Um, I think they actually look fine with uh, finely foliage by themselves, but uh, play around with a little bit. So. Uh out of their bags they're like completely flat so what you got to do is kind of bend them in a round or conical shape so I just kind of uh, take each main branch and just start bending it over in opposite directions from um, when I took it out of the bag just that one over there this one over here that one gets bent over there so you kind of already see the rough shape of a tree taking form. I'm going to bend some of this over, bend this over here, that, bend this over here, bend that over there. Basically when you add the fine leaf foliage, you want to add it to something that's already been bent in a tree-like shape and then that finely foliage has these little branches in it so they'll kind of fill out you know if you think there's not enough branches here so uh, it'll fill it out nice Uh, ready for adding some of the hobby tack. Uh, before I do any more, let me do a couple. Before I put any, put any of the hobby tack on, I'll um, bend a couple more. And I'll do them in small groups of two or three. Um, let the hobby tack dry in the first set and then do multiple sets and kind of get a production line going here. I mentioned that I wanted to get uh, one that was kind of one of those Y shaped trees. Maybe these two main leaders just kind of split out that way. I, mean, I see them around once in a while. I don't know if that's a particular species of tree or whether that's just kind of a mutation. But uh, what I'm going to do on this little specimen here, I'm going to make one of those out of this one. Kind of bend this out of the way and then take my wire snips and cut the center tree out just like that, the center trunk.
X-Acto knife. Trim this off a little bit. Like it wasn't even there. Bend this up a little bit. V-shaped trees. I think that'll do the trick. 